Yash. What are some healthy foods we can eat to ground the nervous system? This is the thing though, see, we want to be grounded for those who have a sensitive nervous system or any kind of neurological spasticity or mental health issues, you want to ground your nervous system. We need stability, but you don't want to eat. You see, there's grounding and then there's like overdoing it to where you're heavy and dull. Then that actually makes your nervous system spasm more because it takes so much energy to digest these heavy foods. People that don't have any kind of chronic neurological disorder, they're not gonna understand this. Mainstream, they don't understand it. You know, people that do carnivore and keto diet, like they don't understand how heavy that is. I'm not against any diet. I'm just sharing from my experience what's worked for me and worked for others that I've worked with who have a sensitive nervous system and neurological dysfunction. I've never seen paleo or any of those heavy diets work. Temporarily, I remember I did I did those diets when I was in LA and um, for about six months or so, I was like, this is great. I was even writing a book at the time and I included a chapter about uh, <clears throat> like the Atkins diet, and keto diet and all that. Cause I was like, this is it. Then later my nervous system got to, it's like it just got all clogged because this fat and this heavy protein is super hard to digest. Not to mention all the steroids that I was getting from the meat was just it was, it was it was like ratting my nervous system out even more all that adrenaline and everything it took a little bit for me to experience that but that's what happened so therefore I'm sharing what I'm sharing and that's what I'm sharing and if you're not feeling it that's all right <laughs> it's all good I'm not a I'm not a I don't I don't have any fixed position about anything you're not gonna get me to debate something because it just really doesn't matter I say do whatever you want to do resonate with when I'm shared okay let's talk then there's some camaraderie you know you gotta you gotta find your group where you belong and stuff you know? if there's a question that's different if somebody has a question and they're they, they have some doubts that they want the doubts to be cleared okay that's different but it's not like a war of which diet's the best like I don't get into that it's just silly so let's get into it. I wrote them down so I don't forget. I'm going to give seven, seven good grounding foods that are easy to digest. That's the key. You want grounding, but easy to digest, meaning it doesn't steal your life force because it, 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 it defeats the whole purpose. If you're trying to ground your nervous system, uh, it's stable, but then <clears throat> to digest that grounding food takes too much energy, then you're not stable again. It, it creates instability too. So it, it's a little bit of a mystery. It takes some work and experimentation to figure all this out. This is all I've been doing my whole life since like 20. So I, I know a couple things. What did De Niro say in that movie? <laughs> I always remember that line because it's funny. Oh, he says, I know a thing or two about a thing or two. I think it's funny. So first thing, coconut. Now I know a lot of you, you don't have access to fresh coconuts. But those that you do, coconuts are super grounding and they're easy to digest. And if you make coconut milk, <laughs> you know, you pour the coconut water in a blender, take the meat out, put it in a blender and, and, and blend it. That's even more <laughs> grounding because you get the healthy fat in there. You're not going to get fat from drinking coconut milk. I used to fast on coconut milk. And on, on, on the books, it was saying I was taking like 4,000 grams of fat a day but I was losing weight so you can't see we're at another level here we're not talking on the this older level calories and fats and it's just all different you can't compare the fat in a coconut compared to like the fat in uh, meat or some processed food so get coconuts if you can don't get the store-bought stuff though it's just not good. It can irritate your stomach. You know, get your fresh coconuts or, or just don't get them. Avocados, really good. Really good grounding earth element, but don't overdo it because you can get it, it, it's you can get too much uh, fat. That's harder to digest than coconut, the avocado. But uh, see where you're at with it. You got to be intuitive. You got to feel. Feel what's going on with your body. You should get to where you can think about a food and your body's like, yes or no. And apply that to everything. 
Think about hanging out with the person, yes or no, everything. Sweet potatoes, really good. Make some like sweet potatoes and rice and vegetables, super grounding. You don't need meat, like there's no way. This is very satiating. Any earth root vegetables, meaning like the roots are in the earth. You pull them out and it's like, oh, carrots, potatoes, you know, whatever you like. They're grounded, they're grounding, they're in the earth. Earth element is another, is synonymous for grounding. You need to be grounded. See this beach here? This is grounding. If you can take all your clothes off and put mud all over you and just lay there, that's grounding. You need earth element. Uh, nuts and seeds. Get the best quality of everything you can get, obviously, but nuts and seeds, whatever nuts and seeds you like. Macadamia and Brazil and cashews, and walnuts and sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, like they're really good. You can put a little bit in your smoothie too, just for grounding. Organic cold pressed oils. All these nuts and seeds, they have an oil. You can you can buy that oil. You might have to look online to get it. I don't your average supermarket doesn't have these things, but you can find it online, particularly if you're in like America or Canada or Europe or somewhere like that and get cold pressed you don't want your oils to be heated you want you want good quality good quality everything nut butters all these <laughs> again all these nuts and seeds that I mentioned they have a butter you can, you can get those butters and get some vegan bread and put it on the bread and eat it or or a mixture of you know you can get whole wheat bread that's also fine um, it's just, you don't want a gluey bread. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not a, I'm not about labels, like vegan. Like, no, it's, it's just about, we're going deeper than labels. It's about like logic. And we, gluey's hard to like white bread or <clears throat> whatever gluey, just anything too gluey, you, you, your body can't digest that. It's like everything gets all glued. So your body needs to work harder to digest that. What does that mean? It means it needs to take more nerve force from your nervous system. Well, then what? More symptoms. You see? That's the thing. So that's why we want to look at all that. All right. So those are your main tips and main foods to get grounded. Let me know. Let me know if you want to know about some other foods. I'll make a video on that. All right. See you.